Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, Cloudera certified uh, uh, administrator of Apache Hadoop. Uh, so far, we have covered HDFS in detail and also we have covered a uh, uh, um, couple of learning tasks uh, about MRV2 plus Yarn as well. As part of this video, we will try to understand basic design strategy for MapReduce V2. So, so this is primarily um, uh, covered as part of the earlier learning objective itself. So most of the learning tasks as part of MRV2 plus YARN will be like a revision for you uh, because the major aspects of MRV2 plus YARN is already covered as part of the uh, earlier learning task. Okay. So uh, if you want to compare the difference between M Hadoop 1 and Hadoop 2 and how the uh, classic and YARN works, you will understand the basic design strategy for MRV2. Okay. So in Hadoop 1, uh, HDFS is the uh, foundation even for MRV, uh, Hadoop 2 also HDFS is the foundation. On top of that, MapReduce is actually uh, controlled by classic framework. And uh, the, the framework name is also called as MapReduce and uh, that takes care of both cluster resource management and data processing. So the cluster resource management is taken care by um, uh, job tracker and task trackers and the data processing is done by map tasks and reduce tasks. But when the data is being processed, the life cycle of the um, uh, data processing or life cycle of the job is also controlled by the job tracker. Okay, so over time when you are submitting uh, too many number of jobs simultaneously, job tracker need to have a lot more resources and it can um, make you make the environment unstable that's where hadoop 2 came into picture uh, with yarn and uh, mrv2 works on top of yarn uh, uh, mrv2 limits itself for data processing it does not do any resource management the resource management is done by yarn uh, YARN have resource managers and node managers to take care of the resources uh, on the cluster whereas the application master which is created by the resource manager when the job is submitted will take care of the job life cycle and I have covered that um, as part of the earlier videos uh, so here we are just uh, reviewing or revisioning what is being explained so the basic strategy for MapReduce 2 is that MapReduce 2 limits itself for uh, data processing. On top of that, MapReduce 2 have a component called job history server. Once the job is submitted, once the job is completed, uh, the, uh, to track the uh, details for the completed jobs, uh, you have to have this job history server up and running. If the job history server is not up and running, then you will not be able to view the jobs. For example, we have submitted the job which is completed. Now, if we copy the URL, and go to browser, paste this URL, and this URL is retrieved from the, after the job is submitted. Now you can see that it is going to the job history. So if I stop the job history server, I am going to Cloudera Manager, uh, click on Yarn, and you can see the job history server here, you can click on that, and I can actually stop the job history server. So now the job history server is being stopped. Click on close. I hope now the job history server might have been already stopped. Yeah, it is showing here as red. That means probably job history server might have been already stopped. Okay, you can see it has stopped. Now, if I use this URL and hit enter, it says unable to connect because the history server is down. So it is very important to understand the dependency of the job history server in the context of uh, getting the details about the completed jobs. 
while the jobs are running even if the job history server is down still you will be able to uh, uh, get the job details because it will be connecting to the proxy that is running on top of the application master okay proxy is nothing but uh, uh, if you have a application where uh, a process is running on multiple hosts in a cluster and if you want to retrieve the details from a centralized url um, uh, you can configure a proxy in this case our resource manager url or ip address itself will act as a proxy only difference is port number is 8088 and slash proxy is the url and that proxy will determine uh, or will will hide the details about where the application master is running um, uh, and uh, it, it will actually get the details from the respect to application master to get the details uh, to, to present the job progress when it is running so uh, when jo jobs are running you you will you will be getting the details using the proxy uh, uh, deployed on top of the uh, 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 node managers in the cluster when the job is completed especially the map reduce job the details will come from um, uh, job history server of mrv2 okay so here yarn is taking care of the cluster resource management and MapReduce framework, MRV2 framework is taking care of uh, uh, data processing and uh, uh, the job life cycle is maintained by the application master. And uh, once the job is completed, the details will be retrieved through job history server. Uh, let me start the job history server and we will wrap up this session. Okay, now the job history server is being started. That, uh, that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about Big Data or Hadoop, please use my LinkedIn group called ITVersity-BigData. If you want to discuss further about certifications, please, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity-Certifications. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And do support me if you live in countries like US and UK where the support this channel or fan funding is available. I will try to come up with more and more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.